Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of our Lunar Base Let's Build. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a pretty good day, and this is going to be the last episode of the Let's Build series, uh, or of this Let's Build series anyway. Uh, tomorrow, I will be back from Minefair, and honestly, I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. Uh, so today, we're going to be putting kind of the finishing touches on the lunar base we've got a little shuttle that we built last episode a little area over here stuff over here a lot of this is going to be kind of interior type stuff uh because right now we have uh we have rooms but no real details or interior or anything like that so i think that's primarily what we're going to be focusing on uh let me grab a couple things let's grab some dirt some coarse dirt some iron trap doors uh, and I think, first of all, I want to make, uh, this, this I had already said I want to be a greener. So, we're gonna put some torches down here. Um, just kidding. <laughs> we're going to put the torches right here. There we go. And then we'll put these on. And then it would be awesome. It's totally working. Awesome. We'll get some iron trap doors around like so, just to kind of uh, bring some of this out. And then I think we want to plant some crops here. So, hmm, I suppose what we could do, let's grab, I suppose it would be under this. Grab some potatoes, some carrots. Whoa. Oh, um, eh, just kidding. Undo! <laughs> I had wooden the wooden hoe set to my dig a crater block. Note to self. Don't use a wooden hoe. Let's, let's use a diamond instead. Uh, so... Oh, man. There we go. We want to... Plant some potatoes and carrots. And then let's grab some bone meal here. So we can... Make them grow, right? So we'll get some uh, some vegetables growing in here. I think that's good. And then over here, we're going to do kind of the same thing as well, because I want this whole area to be basically like a greenhouse. Um, so we'll put some coarse dirt up here, put some of those over here, and in this one, I think we'll grow flowers. So let's maybe grow some of these and some of these. We'll go maybe like that. Get some flowers growing there. We could do a cauldron. Ca ca cauldron? Where? Where is cauldron? <laughs> I can never find the cauldron. It's it's probably under potions and brewing now that I think about it. We'll put a couple of those over here and then let's grab some uh, some jungle leaves. That's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Uh, let's grab some oak leaves. That's still incredibly ugly. What about birch leaves? That'll do. That'll do. That's the color I want. I want actual green. <laughs> it was uh, being difficult, I guess. Uh, so then here... Um, let's bring that in one more. Let's go... Like so... And we'll put down some more trapdoors here in the middle. And I think on this one, I want grass. So we'll just plant some grass like so, right? Real simple. And then the idea is this is a greenhouse where they're growing various different crops, things that they need to survive, etc., etc. Now, I think we can also make this look a little bit better than it does right now as well. Uh, and one way we might be able to do that, uh, actually, let's put it down here. This would just add a little bit of extra detail to the roof of this building. I don't know what that would represent, but I think I, I prefer that over just the plain flat uh, wall or whatever. Uh, let's also think about lighting a bit. So, I think the obvious choice for lighting is sea lanterns, without a doubt. Because, if you think about it, 
We're talking like futuristic type stuff. Is there really anything that's more futuristic in Minecraft than sea lanterns? Like, I think this is the obvious choice. Uh, so this is the one we're going to go with. We'll do that. That looks good. Get that light going up over there. And then down here, we could hang a couple sea lanterns like so. But that doesn't look all that great. So let's maybe try something a little bit different. Uh, maybe we put sea lanterns. Oh, glass panes don't connect to them. Okay, well, there goes that plan. Um, what could we put our sea lanterns under? Uh, we might be able to hide them under the floor. Let's maybe think about that. Or, or not under the floor, under the cauldrons. Like so. That might shed enough light. Maybe. What we should probably do is switch to night. Yeah, there we go. Because we want to be able to see our light. Uh, we want to be able to see the effects of our lighting as we're going along here, right? Now, this is only one thick. So right here, I think we'll put... Uh, we'll put some lights in right here. We'll find some way to cover that up. Here, I think we can probably just get away with putting our lighting around the elevator. Uh, I think we can just leave it just like this and it'll be perfectly fine. Up here, we do have a roof above this. So we can just put some lights in like so. And let that basically be our lighting up here or uh, another option, which may be better would be to do something along those lines. Yeah, I think that's that's a better option for us. Um, down here, I don't want to do that because it'll make the ceiling too low. Um, now, let's grab... Let's get rid of this stuff. Let's maybe grab some red and light gray carpets. And let's maybe do something like this. No, don't like that. That's very not... Uh, that's not very futuristic -y at all. Uh, what could be, though, would be iron trap doors. Like so. Although, I think if we're going to go that route, what we should do is drop our prismarine down here and put our iron trap doors in like this instead. Yeah, that's much better. That's much better. Okay, cool. So now we need to start thinking about, like, um, computer terminals and, and things like that. Things that will uh, make this look, you know, as science fiction-y as we can make it. So I think what we'll do to start with, I'm going to grab some quartz stairs. And right here, this is going to be like a workstation, right? And I think what we'll do is I'm going to grab three empty maps. And I will just look at all of them. And then we'll grab some item frames. And those actually look like nothing. Okay. Can... D does, is none of this actually going to... Uh... Oh, hey, there we go. That's a thing. That's a thing. Okay, we have a thing. This actually looks amazing <laughs> on the map. Uh, so we'll go like so. Or maybe we'll just do just the one. Yeah, let's just do the one. And then the other ones will be... Something else. We'll, we'll find something else to put there. Maybe like a painting would work. Not that painting. Not that painting either. Apparently the lever doesn't uh, interfere with it. So. Couple little. Trying to find something that looks sort of like a. 
a computer monitor. I suppose these could both be... We can pretend that these are computer monitors of some sort. And then maybe we'll go up here with the slab, right? And we'll do a couple of levers. Now, this is like a little computer terminal. Um, I'll put a stone pressure plate here, here, and here to represent, like, this is this is a little computer workstation. Right? So we've got kind of just a just a thing here. The the space shuttle, by the way, totally looks amazing on the map. I'm just saying it, it, that turned out really well. Uh, okay. Now, here, let's add a little bit of interest with some iron bars. And let's just do something like this. And this could represent, like, uh, cables or wires or anything like that. Maybe this is a base that uh, is more scientific and, and you know, etc. than it is meant for beauty. So maybe they don't care about having important cords and cables running around or who knows? You know, something along those lines could be fine. Um, that looks like hot garbage, so let's not do that. I think this will work, though. We can do something like this. Uh, I wish you could turn trapdoors vertically without a redstone signal. I know you can technically do it using world edit, but I generally don't like doing that. Uh, I generally don't like doing world edit things that you can't do in vanilla. Like, eh, what I mean by that... Let's go day again. What I mean by that is, like, all this terrain, right? We created this using world edit. But you could create all of this using vanilla as well. It would just take you way longer. There are some things you can do with World Edit that you simply cannot do in vanilla. Like, it, it's just not possible to do it. So I avoid doing those things because I, I don't want to... I, I, yeah, that's just the way that I prefer to play. Um, anyway, back to the subject at hand. So I'm thinking another thing we could do is grab some armor stands here we go and we'll put like a row of them over here and then we'll grab some leather armor like so uh we can probably get rid of our world edit tools at this point i don't think i need them let's do that and then let's look at dyes and maybe maybe we'll go red right that could work. It would certainly match the rest of the theme. But we can dye the leather armor. And the idea is that these would be like uh, uniforms or maybe they're like environmental suits or something like that. It's basically a way to just get some color added into the room, which I think is probably kind of important. Um, let's go back to here, grab some cauldrons, grab some birch leaves, perhaps, and maybe uh, here, oh, maybe, uh, come on now, maybe here we'll do like a, a little thing, and like so as well, I think that'll be good, and we'll do that in each of the four corners, I think, just to kind of help add a little bit of greenery in here, make this place look a little bit more interesting than it is. Um, as for this, this little area, what's back here? Anything visible? No. So maybe we'll do like some furnaces up against the wall over here. And I don't know what these would represent, but they would represent something. Uh, that one I definitely can't tear out. Like that's, that needs to stay the way it was. Let's put a couple more plants in over here. Or maybe this, maybe over here. We'll do something like that instead. I think that will look a little bit better. But yeah, we can put some furnaces up. These would be maybe... Maybe it is a, an array of furnaces or something. Maybe they have something up there that they need to deal with. Uh, so that looks fine. I do want a lot of open space in this area. Um, let's grab some... Hmm, I want to add in some couches and things. But the question is, maybe we actually use purper of all things. Which is just it's such a weird thing for me to say. If we want to add in like some couches. It does kind of look like cushions. Really ugly. I really hate this color, but at the same time, quartz will blend 
far too much. Maybe we do go with the purper. And then we make this like this huge couch, right? Like so. Let's shorten it a little bit. And then we have room, I think, for a second one like that, right? Yeah. And this will be like a, a communal, um, like, meeting area, right? This will be like the lounge where they come to relax. Whoever lives here, the researchers or, or whatever, uh, will add some spruce tables in between. We can get something like that going. Uh, we'll grab some bookshelves. Definitely put some bookshelves in the corners over here. For sure, maybe uh, a couple. Wow, thunder. That was that was thunder outside my house. I nearly had a heart attack there. That scared me for a second. I didn't know what it was. Anyway, a couple bookshelves over here seems pretty good. Maybe we'll add another bookshelf like that and grab a flower pot and a little blue orchid. And we'll go like so. Right, so they have like a little area over here. I think that looks pretty good. That's kind of cute. It'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then back here we could do other things as well. We could maybe put like a crafting table, another little flower pot. Uh, you know, same kind of a deal over here with a little flower pot on it. Just little things to kind of decorate the area a little bit. Um, you know, down here maybe they're growing uh, different herbs and flowers and stuff. So. Maybe we mix up a couple different things over here. Maybe we go like, you know, something like that. Uh, maybe they're doing research on the effects of space uh, when it comes to plants. Maybe that's what they're, they're maybe that's what they're researching or something. I, I really don't know. Uh, maybe a burn. Oh, the green is just so ugly in this area. Um, and maybe a pink tulip. You know, just little little things that we're we're kind of attempting to just make this look a little bit more a little bit more inviting, a little bit more interesting. Grab one of those uh, and maybe a mushroom, right? Little mushroom there, orange tulip, dandelion, etc. They're just kind of working on different science experiments and things. Yeah, that could work. That could work quite nicely. So we've got this room sorted out. Um, I think there are too many of these blue orchids over here. So let's just uh, maybe swap a couple of them out for Allium. Right, maybe we make that one an Allium. That one an Allium. And then maybe this becomes a red tulip. Yeah, that'll work. That's a little better. You can see the space shuttle from over there. We should probably do something over in that area as well. So over here, I think there needs to be lights for the landing. Uh, where are my prismarine? There we go. So let's say here. Uh, here. Oh boy, this one's going to be <laughs> kind of hard to calculate, isn't it? Um, it would be like right there right if we're doing the corners of this whole thing are we doing just the corners yeah we're doing just the corners okay so that one would go away and then we would go here and there I believe Right, this would line up with that. Almost. Is that... That seems... That seems really off, because this part. But it is right. It just doesn't seem like it. But it is. It is... Cor uh, no, no, wait. Yeah. Yeah, it is. My mind is playing tricks on me for some reason. When I'm looking at it, but it's correct. It it is. It just looks very strange. Okay, so that's pretty cool. The other thing, uh, actually, here's another thought as well. One thing that does look very alien to me 
is chorus fruit. So let's maybe grab some chorus flower and a little bit of end stone. And over here, instead of growing these, let's maybe grow some chorus flowers. Like they'll just grow over there. It could be kind of cool. They will grow on their own eventually, but uh, it's going to be a little weird to see how that works out. All in all, though, I think this is pretty cool. We've got kind of a nifty little, uh, a little bit of a base going, and I'm, I'm liking it. I think it turned out pretty well. Guys, I do want to take a look. Let's just see how this looks with shaders. It may end up being super bright. Yeah, that's like incredibly washed out and bright, but let's go time set, basically sunset, right? Uh, that's a little better. I think it. I think this is actually one of the few builds that looks better. Ooh, that's not bad. I think this build actually looks better without shaders, though. I mean, it. That looks pretty sweet. You gotta admit that looks pretty awesome. But without shaders, let's just take those off and imagine that this is. You know, you're on the moon, it's night. This is what you see right here. Like, this is pretty cool. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Let's just raise our field of view a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Is that not a pretty cool build? That's not bad for making this, basically this entire thing up as I went. I'm happy to say. I'm quite happy with the way that this turned out. Guys, that is going to do it for this Let's Build series. My friends, if you enjoyed this series of videos, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Remember, I will be back from Minefair, uh, well, the day, you, the day after you see this video. So we'll be back to normal uh, video scheduled stuff very soon. I just had to get these recorded, so we had enough videos for while I was mine at Minefair. Little filler series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, if you did, you know what to do. As I said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.